it, that's a fact. Yeah. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. I took that weight on my shoulder. I took that weight on my shoulder. So, y'all, I completely look a mess. I'm aware of that. And I know that some of y'all probably seen me like this before. Some of y'all probably ain't seen me like this before. But that is okay because this is the channel where I come to be myself. Because sometimes it's just hard being an entertainer. It's hard keeping up with people's lives. It's hard having my own life, being a mother, being a wife, just being... I just be trying to be everything everybody want me to be. And I just be tired sometimes. And sometimes I just need to sit by myself. Give myself about 15 to 30 minutes to just get my shit together. Because I really be out here stressing, y'all. Like, I be going through the most. And I'm very, like, I'm an emotional creature, first of all. And first and foremost, I'm an emotional creature off top. I'm just the type of person that run off my emotions. And it be hard for me to, like, you know, kind of, like, try to, it's hard for me to separate that from being, like, an everyday person. Because I'm just... A lovable person like I just want to be everybody's friend I'm just so friendly I'm so nice and it's just like sometimes people do things to me I think my kids are fighting one moment <clears throat> okay I'm back <sighs> I just be going through a lot and I'm really moving at a fast pace in my life because I used to be homeless and in like 2011, 2012, and then in 2013, I got pregnant. And then in 2013, I had got, I went through this shelter and they got me an apartment and that's how I got my first apartment. And that's how, you know, I wasn't homeless no more. And in that apartment, y'all, I sat there from 2013 to 2017 and wasted, or I'm not going to say I wasted time in my life, but I sat there like a lump on a log, y'all, for years. And I didn't do anything with myself for years, and I wasn't successful for, you for years, and I didn't go to college, I didn't do nothing. I just sat there and took care of my kids and wasted away until finally I was able to escape from that apartment and get in my town home. And then from my town home, I stayed there two and a half years, and now I am in a house, and I'm just going through so much, so many things mentally. And I'm really just trying to, like, get it together. It's just so hard because I know that y'all depend on me for the tea. And I be missing doing the videos, y'all. I swear I do. I be missing doing the videos. I be missing y'all. I just be missing the comments. I just be missing the energy, period. And it's just like, I can't, I'm not a great multitasker. Like, if I'm going through something in real life, I cannot juggle YouTube, NBA Young Boy, or any other celebrity topics while I'm enduring something in my real life. And it's just like, I haven't been on this channel in a while talking to y'all. And honestly, my mama taking me back to court to increase my child support. And I am really honestly kind of fucked up about that because I honestly don't understand why she won't leave me alone. Like, I don't get it. It's like, I really don't even understand, like, what she has against me at this point. Like, I really feel like it's not even, like, a mother-daughter thing anymore. It's become something totally different. And it's like she views me as, like, a stranger on the street. And it's just, like, the courts totally are, like... I feel like it's a conflict of interest somewhere. Like, the courts is totally not on my side with this. It's like they don't even haven't even heard my side of the story or none of that on any situation dealing with this specific situation so it's just like this whole time i just haven't been heard and it's just like she keeps using that to her 
using that to her advantage by going to the court and like basically telling lies on my name because she feels like they're gonna believe her because she's my mom but at the end of the day y'all really don't even know that me and this woman don't even communicate on a day-to-day -day basis even with her having my child like and that's what hurt me the most bro because sometimes i be going through things in my life and i just want to reach out to her and talk to her not on no drama shit not on no fighting shit i just want to talk to her because she's my mom you know i just want to like reach out to her because there's still some things that i don't know in my adult life that i need help with as a woman and really sometimes the only person you got to turn to is your mama but it's just like my mama got me in this fucked up twisted ass situation with my child and it's just like bro i want to know my child my child shouldn't feel like my motherfucking sister bro like she shouldn't feel like a distant cousin or something that i only see when we go to family reunions like that shit is ridiculous and it's just like the fact that you're taking me to court to increase my child support is just like beyond me, bro, because it's like my situation hasn't fucking changed. Really, the only thing that's changed is I got a house now and I'm doing a little bit better for myself. It's really just not that, it's not that crucial. Like she's just making it seem like it's just so much more than what it actually has to be. She's making it so much harder than what it actually has to be. And it's just like, I'm doing so much better for myself. The girls are doing great. They're amazing. I don't go nowhere. I say, I stay in the house all day with my kids. Just me and my kids. We just be in here chilling. Even before we moved into this house, we only been in this house three days. Even before we moved into this house, we were just chilling. That's all we did. Everywhere I went, my kids went. Everywhere they went, I went. And if they couldn't go, I can't go. And if I can't go, they can't go. It's been like that. And it's just like, I don't understand at the end of the day what my mom needs to continue proving to me because I've clearly proved much more to her than expected. Like, and it's just like, I could go on and on and on, but that's really like why I haven't been uploading videos. And I just really feel like I owe y'all an explanation because y'all been here for me since day one, since I even got the courage to come out and tell y'all what's going on. And I've just been so frustrated and it's just like, I'm trying not to let it get to me but it's just like, bro, you broke our court order two and a half years ago and moved out of Dallas with my child and left me in Dallas after you took me away from everybody that I ever known and loved. She took my baby 84 miles away from me. When our court order clearly says that she's not supposed to leave Dallas County or any contiguous county and where she's living is clearly out of bounds. Like she left, like did not care. It was just the principle, you know? And it's like, now she's gonna come all the way back. Now she's gonna come all the way back, bro. <laughs> to reopen the case not even the case she's trying to reopen the child support case so that she can increase my child support which i think is ridiculous because if you need more child support that means that you need more funds to take care of my child and you're lacking something that's the only thing that i could think but i could be wrong i mean i don't know at the end of the day but <sighs> it's just a lot going on y'all I don't want to tell too much on the video because people are watching me. They are watching me and I am aware they are watching me, but they ain't going to click like because they don't want me to know they watching me. But I already know because it's just like everyone is so shocked, bro, because I literally used to be homeless. I used to live out of trash bags. I used to sleep on the floor. I used to sleep outside. I used to sleep behind trash cans. Look, I used to... I used to motherfucking stand outside motherfucking Olive Garden, bitch, after not having a bathe for days. Like, I used to be, I didn't have nowhere to brush my teeth or nothing. Be, be asking families if they can give me a hotel room for two days because I don't have nowhere to go. I don't, like, and I was just lucky and so fucking blessed, bro, not to have had to lay on my fucking back, bro, and fucking sell myself for a dollar. I never had to do that. That I was so blessed, and I always feel like God had his hands on me because I never had to do nothing extreme for a place to stay. And it just seemed like, yeah, it was hard. Yeah, I didn't have no home. Yeah, I didn't have nowhere to go. But God always made sure I had somewhere. 
And it's just overwhelming to me to be in this situation because I've came so far. Like, I'm literally somebody's testimony. And it's just like, I can't get into it all in this video. But I just want y'all to know, I'm going to keep it real with y'all when the time is right for me to keep it real with y'all. It's just like, I can't right now because it's just like, it's people who really don't want to see me come up. It's like always, it's like people always want to see you doing good, but they don't ever want to see you doing better than them. And it's like somebody would have called me. I'm getting beside myself. Y'all, excuse my hair. I'm going to get ready to, I don't know. My new growth is growing back and stuff. And I ain't had no perm in like nine or ten months. And... Look, at this point, I'm at home. I don't even care how y'all see me because I love y'all and I know y'all love me and y'all love me even more because I keep it real with y'all. I'm not going to hide my struggle. I just moved into this house. I'm broke. I used all of my last dime and pennies to move into this home to a higher opportunity area for my kids. And I'm not ashamed to be in here looking busted and disgusted because I'm in a three bedroom house with a backyard and a two car garage and I got all the amenities, okay? And a washer and dryer. So, I think I deserve to look crazy. That's fine with me. Anyway, so, like I was saying, nah, y'all can't go outside. Y'all go outside later. Let me go check on my kids where I left off because I got distracted by them kids but what I was saying was I have came up from nothing completely rock bottom and people with college degrees and careers who are going to work every day Monday through Friday talk down on me for as long as I can remember they was always on me for wanting to be in my room, reading, catching up, looking on my phone, being on social media, just all the above. It's just like everybody always looked down on me because I was different, because I wasn't like everybody else. And it just like made me feel some type of way as a person, as a human. Like I was always degrading myself, talking down on myself, beating myself up. And it's just like I could never get up from where I was because I was just always letting someone beat me down and tell me what they thought of me. And I would really just like take that shit into consideration and really just overthink that shit and really like feel fucked up. And I really just think that that's where the spots on my face came from and everything because my face didn't always used to look like this. Like I have pictures where my face is just clear and just like over time, like I... I <laughs> Over time, I look in the mirror, bro, and I wouldn't see myself looking back. I would just see something else looking back at me, and it just made me unhappy. And it's just like, now that I'm in this space of bliss, my kids are great, my man is great, my man loves me, like, I'm with my high school sweetheart, like, the man that I've always loved, like, I am, I feel amazing. But then on the flip side, I'm fucked up because I have all this success, yet my mom still doesn't see me as worthy enough to have my child home with me. And the only thing that I can think that's keeping her from feeling that way is because she doesn't have a crutch to lean on. My mom, unfortunately, was a single mother. Of course, y'all seen the stories where I said that I'm a product of incest. My mom and my dad are cousins. If y'all have not watched those story times, please feel free to go to my YouTube channel and look at those story times. They're out there for a reason. I don't have nothing to hide from y'all. I wasn't meant to be here because we all know it's not natural to have a baby with your cousin, but it is what it is. I'm here. But I'm just saying that my mom didn't graduate high school. She dropped out in ninth or 10th grade. She had me and my brother at a young age. She just was always running the streets and getting in trouble. Her criminal record is a mile long. She never went to college. She just she she came from a generation where they really just didn't teach their children everything that they needed to know about life. Therefore, their kids had kids who didn't know nothing about life, and I just happened to be one of them. And I'm just blessed enough for God to have given me some textbook sense versus some street sense because I'm not really a street girl. I am a homebody i stay in the house all the time i really don't chill go out drink go to the club i don't really do none of that i'm a nerd i like playing computer games clearly i like being on my phone and i gave youtube a chance because my sister introduced it to me but now we're here and i didn't know if 
y'all were gonna like me. I didn't know if any of this was gonna work. I just gave it a chance because I was tired of, of dealing with the same consequences and repercussions. I was tired of banging my head into the same wall. I was tired of dealing with the same people. I was tired of not I was tired of being broke. I was tired of, look, of being looked down upon. I was just tired. I was fed up. I was over it. And I decided to get up and make a change in my life. And now I'm here. But now it's just like you can't never like give up when you get to your final destination. You can't give up. You got to keep going. So now that I'm in this house, I'm going to stay here for about two years and get my shit even more together. I want to start working on my credit. I want to start actually paying off my hospital bills and stuff like that i want to look out for some insurance for me and my family and get some life insurance for myself like you know like i have plans but it's just like i have people holding me back and unfortunately my family is the type of family that really didn't come from nothing they're country bumpkins they really just don't know no better all they do is get drunk all day and fight on one another and that's just not what i want to be a part of and so i decided that I might not have been able to choose where I came from, but I am able to dictate, build, and mold my future. And that's what I'm trying to do. And it's just like my mom don't got nobody. It's just like she's an evil person. She's greedy. She's manipulative. And she's she's just, I just feel like she got to get hers by any means necessary because she really don't have a plan B, you know? And I feel like she took my daughter from me because at the time... I was aging out of her home. I was on my way out the door and I'm the youngest. Like, so you would already know automatically she felt some type of way because I was really the reason she had the house that she had because she was on assistance at the time. So if I would have moved out, that meant that she would have had to downgrade her living quarters. And so she, at the last possible moment, she talked me into, you know, putting my daughter on her lease and I did it because I thought that they would give us a bigger house. You know, I already explained the story in previous videos. Like I said before, if y'all want to be caught up, please be feel free to watch those videos. You know, so I always felt like she took my daughter for the money. And of course, someone who takes a child for money and benefits for themselves, because everybody knows if you take care of a disabled child, you get money through their SSI. And everybody knows that if you take in a foster child through the state, the state pays you to take care of the child. But it's just like, I'm mad that I even have to think of my baby in this aspect because she's not money. She's not a fucking coin, bitch. Like, my baby is my fucking baby. Like, and I feel like if I didn't want her here, I could have gotten an abortion. I could have been one of them girls that got an abortion, but I had my baby because I wanted my baby. And it was just like, yeah, I was in a fucked up place in my life, but it's like I trusted my mom to be able to help me like she said she was going to help me instead of just using me to get what she needed to get so that she could get to the next level when it's not my fault that you didn't graduate. It's not my fault that you didn't do something with your life. And it's like not my obligation to take care of you or to give you extra money here and there because you don't have it. Like, I want to raise my baby at the end of the day, y'all. That's all I know. Like, that's all I know. Like, I don't know what all these other people are talking about. They just, I'm just, I'm just so fed up. Like, if we went back to court, bro, that's what I want to do. I'm ready. Because at this point, circumstances have changed. And I can fully take care of my child by myself. I don't need nobody helping me take care of my kids because clearly I can run a household. It's not hard. But that's literally what I wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about. And I also wanted to let y'all know that I'm not completely out of my old apartment. It's still some stuff in there. I have to go back and clean up and um, I'm going to do a, a, a what is it called? I'm going to do a um, my empty townhouse tour and then upload it to this channel and then I was also going to do a my new house tour and put it on this channel and then we were going to do a my furnished house tour and put it on this channel. A lot of my subscribers on my entertainment channel and some here on my personal channel were telling me that I should do a home registry and I kind of don't even know how to do that, y'all, because, like, I really, this is my first house. I never had a house before. 
And so they were like saying that I should like do one at Target or Bed Bath & Beyond. And I'm just like, I feel afraid because I don't know y'all. Like I'm just so blown away that I have so many people that rock with me on my entertainment channel and over here. And I just be like so happy that I have friends. Like, and I just don't even be alone no more. Like I don't even... You know, I could just come talk to y'all about anything. It just makes me feel great, you know, like, because I come on my channel to be myself. That's why I be looking like this, because I want y'all to know I'm here, I'm true, I'm real, I'm honest. I want to be as transparent as possible, and I don't want y'all to ever think that is any more than that. Like, I started this community because I needed y'all more than y'all needed me, and at the time, I was in such a negative space. I needed some positivity in my life. And God knows, like, because he blessed me with y'all, God knows that I, I just appreciate this so much. Like, and I'm just so, I'm just so happy. I am. And I just know my life is going to be so much better from here on out. And I can't see over the hill right now because, you know, we only have sight, but God got the vision. He can see everything. I can only see a little bit. But everybody is telling me that God got so much more stuff for in store for me. So I'm excited to be able to experience that with you guys. And, you know, I'm excited that y'all are here with me, experiencing it with me. Because really everything that you endure on this channel with me is going to be a first. Because unfortunately, I came from nothing. So I wasn't blessed to be able to have the finer things in life. And I'm actually, y'all are actually witnessing me. Y'all are witnessing me being created in the flesh like y'all get to get to witness it like and i'm excited because it's just so much stuff i haven't done but that can be another video and for right now i'm just gonna go ahead and end this video because i don't want to keep y'all for too long i just wanted to come back and let y'all know that i'm okay i'm going a little crazy over here it's a lot of stuff going on you know with the coronavirus and everything I hope all of y'all out there are safe and doing well and great and are healthy. Keep washing y'all hands and stay away from people. Social distancing, coronavirus. But yeah, so I'm so glad, you know, that y'all are doing good. I'm doing good. I got a little problems here and there. But other than that, everything is fantastic. I cannot wait to show y'all my house. I will definitely think about the home registry. I don't know. I don't know if I should do it or not. I don't know. I don't know. But y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down below and like help me figure it out because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I can't even figure out how to get my dang water transferred over here. I ain't never had a water bill or a gas bill. I have to pay rent. I have to pay lights. I have to pay water and gas. I got my lights transferred over, but I don't know how to connect my gas and my water bill. But I'm going to figure it out. Hopefully, we have a solution by tomorrow. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at these days. And I wanted to come back on the entertainment channel and make a video, but I haven't really figured out when I'm going to be able to because my house is totally still packed, kind of, and I got a lot of unpacking to do. But I'm so happy that I was able to come on here and talk to y'all because it's just been a minute. I just needed to talk to y'all because... I just needed to let y'all know that I'm still here and I love y'all and I'm going to be here and I'm going nowhere but I'm finished I love you guys peace out so long so long sleeping from sofa to sofa from sofa to sofa now I'm a step on these little bitty bitches here's some brand new Gucci low some Gucci walking I got tired of eating big mama's chicken now it's business when I want to